the way people talk about the nostalgia. Every corner, somebody can tell you, well, this used to be this, and then now it, it turned into this, and then it turned into that way before you were born. First of all, let me tell you about the annual Cross the Harbor Swim Race, where you started at Bournemouth, you swam to Gunboat Beach, then the, the, the water polo team that practiced at Bournemouth. Back then, we didn't have the national stadium. So all aquatic sports took place at Bournemouth. So the water polo and all of that, the yacht races, the speed boats. It was just a pleasure for us to sit down in the park and watch the speed boats up and down with people on the water skis doing all kind of gymnastics, up in the spinning and carrying on and so on. Occasionally, there would be a school of dolphins just up and down, dancing their way up and down the harbor. That was a rare sight, but a pleasant sight when you're lucky to see. As a child, I was maybe about five or six years old, going to the first music concert. It was featuring the, the great trumpeter, Louis Satchmo Armstrong, who was visiting Jamaica at the time, and they had it uh, in what is called, what we call the race court. Entertainment. A lot of dance halls. You had Liberty Hall, which was a dance hall, Chocomolan. It was a little west of downtown, but still a part of it. Um, Jamaica Success Club, uh, Forrester's Hall, Barbecue Lawn, Jubilee Tile Gardens. And these are the places we had here Sir Cox's Downbeat, Prince Buster, the Voice of the People, um, Lloyd the Matador, Duke Reed the Trojan, etc huge heavyweight sound system. For me, the touch point is music. I listen to all of the oldies, like Studio One recordings and stuff like that. And people will mention streets in the songs, right? So I said to myself, okay, like you start to drive on Orange Street, you realize that there's a bunch of record shops on Orange Street, right? And you start saying, oh, like back in the day, there was an entire micro economy of selling records and basically contributing to the global music um, scene just on that one street. Beat Street ran from North Street and Orange Street down to Orange Street and Haywood Street, which is North Parade. So many record stores were there along that, that corridor. The premier culture of Jamaica, which is the music, emanated really from downtown Kingston. I think it's the availability and the development of various infrastructures that are supportive of arts and culture that make the space conducive for artistic expression. Mm -hmm.